like a menstrual bleed through the pencil and ink on the sheet of the tablet in my mind cause I don't write shit cause I ain't got time till my second minutes I was going to all mighty dollar in the hall mighty power of that ch 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 was a stuff for the sun Lord of all the motherfucker cop I got the Maserati dancing on a bridge pussy popping tell the coppers ha 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 you can't catch them you can't stop them good morning I wasn't sure if I should vlog today. I'm still not really sure. I'm only saying that because I was doing a fit vlog. I guess I still am. But some stuff is messed up. First, I know you're not in that trash. Y'all, I'm giving yay more freedom and I'm regretting it. Hey, yay. We just came back from outside. Um, anyway, y'all, I have been through three tripods in less than 30 days. I just had to order a tripod because I broke one yesterday. So that's why I was like, what the fuck, yo? Like, oh, sorry. <laughs> just jumped up in the morning cussing. Um, I wanted to do a fit vlog, but I still don't have a tripod. Like, I have a tripod, but I'm trying to watch him, y'all. Make sure he ain't peeing nowhere. Um, I have a tripod, but it's like my big bulky tripod. And I really don't want to take it to the gym because it's bad enough that you'd be like recording the gym. Now you got this big bulky AF tripod. But I ordered one from Amazon. It was supposed to be here same day, which was yesterday. The tripod ain't him. So yeah, oh, I actually supposed to check it and see if it was out for delivery. I mean, slick. It been out for delivery since one o'clock, says Amazon. So why didn't I get it? But anyway, that happened. And then y'all, I'm literally running off four hours of sleep. And I'm a big advocate of sleep is number one y'all gonna be like but protein is number one yeah but sleep is 1.5 um i only got four hours of sleep i don't know why i went to bed at 11 45 ish um when i got up to take yay out at 4 a.m i never went back to sleep that usually doesn't happen i usually go back to sleep because i get up and take him to the bathroom when i go to the bathroom so i had to pee so yeah he had to pee and he is exploring the heck out of the bathroom speaking of yay Anyway, um, so I was like, am I even going to go to the gym today? Because I didn't get all my sleep. But here we are going to the gym. So the, the tripod ain't updated. I don't know. I'm going to take my bulky tripod, see what I can do. I want to go. I need to go to the gym that I know is the emptiest. But I wanted to do some freaking pull-ups. And this machine, well, this gym doesn't have the assisted pull-up machine. <sighs> Sorry, y'all. Anyway. That's why I'm like, what am I doing? My house is a mess as usual. Everything, Nothing is organized. I don't know. It's always like this. Here we go again. Okay, but look. I need to go to the store um, to get food. And I was going to put myself on a meal plan. I slick and put myself on a meal plan. Uh, but I was supposed to start yesterday and I did it. But I didn't do bad. I had, I had breakfast food already. I had a sandwich for lunch. And I didn't have nothing for dinner. But I went to the store and got some salmon and shrimp. And made a Caesar salad with the salmon and the shrimp. But I didn't have Parmesan cheese didn't even realize that until like in the middle of the last night when I woke up like <gasps> I made a Caesar salad with no doggone parmesan cheese anyway um I need to go to the store to get all my stuff I slick need to go to Sam's too to stock up on protein so instead of this being a fit vlog because I may not fit myself in the gym I don't see that because I don't want it I don't know because I also need to get stuff for yay this might just be getting my ish together vlog so I washed my hair this morning and tied the sides down y'all said y'all like this curly in the first video because by the time this video go well y'all haven't seen my birthday vlog yet because it's not live but it's ready to go it'll go today and i don't know y'all i don't know if i like it curly like i'm sorry i i feel like it looks real lgbtq ish i ain't trying to offend but i, I that's what i feel like and it's probably because like it's shaved on the sides and like curly in the middle that I feel like that. But it's giving me, it's giving not what I'm trying to give. Y'all don't have no damn kids. Don't have no damn kids. Sir, 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 sir. You not even supposed to be in here. I'm trying to give you some freedom before you got to get in the kennel because I'm about to go. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I don't... I'm about to put a hat on. <laughs> no, y'all know I wear hats to the gym anyway. Stop, yeah, he thinks I'm playing. Oh, my God, he wants to play all day. Uh, I wore a hat yesterday, but it's only because my hair was looking bad. It needed to be washed. But I washed it, and I was like, let me see it curly, because I never really gave it a chance after I initially got my hair cut. And I, y'all... Mm-mm. I don't like it curly. Like, I like it now, but I don't know about this. 
and maybe when it get longer at the top or something i don't know i'm still thinking about putting a texturizer in it because i want to wear it like flat with like a little wave to it that's just what i want to do so i'm probably gonna put a hat on but anyway let me get ready to go to gym so i can put this dog in his kennel i have no idea i didn't make up my mind what gym i want to go to i might see y'all there might not but it doesn't matter because i'll see y'all later hella shit to do oh my god i gotta put those packages in a bag and drop them off hella shit to do for real okay y'all so i'm literally the definition of a Gemini. I just told y'all I wasn't feeling my hair. Absolutely love it. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Because y'all can't. I'm going to have to flip the camera around. But I'll probably show y'all my outfit. A Gemini is going to Gemini. What? Look at this. They like, girl, we seen it. You the one who ain't seen it. I see it. I see it. Okay. I retract all statements. I'm that nigga. Okay. I've been that nigga. I always going to be that nigga. That nigga. Okay, I'm not probably using racial slurs, but y'all know that's my word. Y'all know that's my word. Hey, and I don't got no makeup on. What? I'm feeling it with the no makeup? Total transformation. How did my mind just change? I don't know. Hey, y'all, so this is my outfit. We got a women's best bra. It's like, I know it looks white, but it's really like this pale green gray type thing. These are Lululemon leggings that I never wear, and now they're actually kind of a little big. <sighs> A little bit. Ooh, waist come through, baby girl. What's good after vacation? I was so big in Mexico, y'all. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, baby. I don't lie. I had to edit the hell out of my B day pictures. Not gonna lie. I was so bloated and I didn't know why. And then come to find out, I didn't know this. I looked this up. When you take flights, you retain water. Cause I was like, why the hell am I so big? Like I was huge, baby. I did not know why, but we back. Okay, and you know what? I know that I was retaining hella water because when I got back, the day after I got back, Sunday, y'all, I swear to God, I kept peeing like every 20, 30 minutes. And I was like, why am I peeing like this? What the girl? Anyway, found out retaining hella water, but she back. She looks amazing, okay? Hello, Lululemon leggings. They're old and was a sponsorship. I would love to have another one because Lululemon is high as AF. Anyway. I got these shoes for my birthday from Sunshine. These, he, see, men always be doing stuff. So I've been talking to y'all. I don't know if I've been talking to y'all, but I've been wanting some shoes. And now the shoes and specifically was the Space Hippies. And I just never got them. Don't know why they're not even expensive. And these are not the Space Hippies and he thought they was. These are actually like, they're kind of like the Space Hippies, but these are called the Nike Crater or something like that. I'm going to have them in the description box. But yeah, they was not the Space Hippies. But it's okay. They cur, They cur, And it's still new shoes. I really want to get like my gym. Not necessarily clothes because I got hella gym clothes. But the kick game up. Because I want to like be a sneakerhead basically. <laughs> but yeah, let me go to the gym. I looked at myself and admired long enough. Let's go. Okay, y'all. So I guess I did decide to film in the gym. So today was uh, my back day. Now this week, since I've been back from vacation, I have not been recording like my weights or anything or doing like my regular routine, even though I kind of have been doing what I've been doing. And that's because I'm about to change it next week. But anyway, y'all already know barbell rolls. I have no idea. This weight looks like it is, uh, what, maybe 65, 75 pounds. But again, I don't know because I did not record it. So, sorry about that, but y'all can see that my form was pretty good, better than that Smith machine, if y'all remember. And then this is again, so no, those aren't 10, are those 25? There's no way those are 25, they gotta be 10s. So, this is 40 plus 45, so what is that, 80, 85? Oh, wow, good for me, good for me. I didn't know if you know, I, you know, you know my strength, but y'all can see, I love that for me, it looks pretty good. Um, so after I did that, I went and did a little bit of stretching, um, or actually I'm just chilling right now. There goes the stretching. I have been getting into stretching lately. So let me know if y'all want to see like a stretch routine, because that is important as part of your recovery and to loose those, loosen those muscles, um, so that you don't hurt yourself. But here we go with an overhead press and my form is getting so much better with the overhead presses. This is, uh, 10, y'all, sorry, 45, 65, this is 65 pounds i'd be shocking myself because y'all know my upper body strength is weak but today i did bench press 95 pounds like with no issue 
um i have did more than that before but usually not very much in the reps and 95 pounds is pretty easy so you know i'm getting better now i did go down on the weight because i knew that was too much i'm looking at it and knew that was too much i went down on the weight and replaced those tens with fives and then i was able to move it a little bit better please remember that form is going to come before the weights don't be it you know you want to lift heavy weights because you know that's your strength and that's how you break down the muscle but if you're doing it wrong you're just gonna end up hurting yourself so form over weight which is probably why i went down because i wasn't feeling it or it was just a little bit too strenuous for me now y'all know these are face pulls we did this in the last video i'm sorry i'm out of frame but yeah i just did some face pulls and then the next exercise i did was a single arm row um this is something that i've been doing too but like i said i'm about to revamp or start a new like regimen um and i don't know how i feel about these like i like these but i think i would prefer it not on the cable machine i think when i do single hand rolls if i put it in my next uh, upcoming workout program it won't be on the cable machine it'll be just like they have other machines that like isn't even a cable one because i don't know i felt i don't know i felt a little bit like I don't know i felt off about it okay let me just say that i didn't feel that great about it so don't know how i feel about them to continue them but don't give up on something just because that's me contemplating it you know you should keep doing it to get better but i'm just telling y'all what i'm going through so then the last thing that i did for this um you know back day was some lap pull downs i haven't really been doing these um in this regimen i've done these before love these but i haven't been doing these so this was my first time doing these in quite a while and i really want to get back into them i don't know why i took them out well i just because i like to switch things up that's why but definitely these are a staple and i'm really good at them so we should continue to wait to get stronger i knew that not sleeping was gonna catch up to me i'm so freaking tired and if i take a nap then it's gonna repeat itself and i'm not gonna sleep tonight so i don't know what i'm gonna do guess just continue with my day i'm so tired so anyway i made a matcha y'all already know protein matcha i use the powdered little protein packs i have them linked in the description because you can get them on amazon but i get mine from Publix, and i used a protein shake in which i need to go and buy some more from sam's and then just a quick breakfast because i need to get out the house and go to the store and go to sam's and go drop off packages i just made some oatmeal it's the protein quaker oats apple cinnamon with some peanut butter so now y'all i have to before i leave fix this freaking video that said it had copyright in it because a dog on michael jackson it was some performers at the resort and um they was whatever it was live i don't know it was a little clip of it and it caught it like youtube is not they do not be playing but that's fine that's cool i'm just cut the whole clip out don't even worry about it y'all today was a day today was a fucking day man first of all i went and ran all my errands right i forgot my vlogging camera but it's good it's cool because i had an attitude anyway i had to go literally all around atlanta i went to drop off my packages ups usps i went to home goods i went to marshall's i went to ross i went to costco i went to sam's i went to Publix. i went to costco and sam's for really one thing in mind fair life protein shakes when somebody mentioned that Fairlife was, what did they say? It was a shortage. I didn't pay no attention. Okay, so anyway, get to Sam's. No, there is Fairlife. Chocolate and strawberry. Y'all know I fucking hate the strawberry. The chocolate's not bad, but since I'm typically using the protein shakes for my matcha, I need vanilla or caramel. Go to Costco. Chocolate. I'm like, yo, what the F? I knew they didn't have none in Publix because I haven't seen no, like, the little four packs of Fairlife. I haven't seen them in Publix in forever. So I'm like, oh my God, I literally have two protein shakes left. What the F? I was like, okay, that's cool. I'm just going to go to Amazon and order some. No, I'm not. Because the 12 pack, which be at, like, Sam's or Costco for, like, $18.99, let's just say $20. A 12 pack on Amazon is $38.99. I am not. I am not. Who is spending $40 on 12 protein shakes? But I'm still upset because I don't like any other protein besides Fairlife. I used to be able to do Premier Protein and it was actually good until I ran across Fairlife and now it's like protein, uh, Premier Protein. Mm -mm -mm. So anyway, I'm just going to show y'all what I got from the store. While I was at Sam's, I did get this big old box of freaking smart food popcorn so there's that and then i gotta show y'all all the stuff i got yay because i spent like 60 dollars on him and i am just so distraught oh well since we're here 
Um, y'all know I love my bourbon salmon from Publix. Let me put y'all down. I am so tired. I don't know why I decided to do this today. Knowing I was running off of E. I have, y'all, I had four hours of sleep. If that, like three and a half. This is not good. So, like, I need to straighten up. I don't see it happening. I'm really about to lay down and just try not to go to sleep. Um, get ready to get this video up. Feed, yay. Like, what time is it? It's 5 15. So if I can just make it to 8 o'clock, take my shower, get in the bed, that's about my regular time. So anyway, y'all know I love the purple, the purple, see? The Publix bourbon salmon, right? But um, I didn't do that this time. I decided to try from Sam's this blackened Atlantic salmon. So I got that. Did I get that from Sam's or Costco? I got that from Sam's and from Costco. Oh yeah, this is all I got from Costco was that uh cilantro lime shrimp i was gonna get the sirloin steak that i usually get that's already cooked but uh my meat this week was supposed to be ground turkey salmon and shrimp so well, i was like i'm not going to spend because that shit's like 25 dollars. so that's all i got really from costco like no ain't no really literally that's all i got from costco so then y'all i don't have nothing extravagant from Publix at all but since we're here i'm going to actually have salmon and shrimp um another caesar salad for dinner because i did have a slice of pizza when i was at sam's and because i was freaking starving and i was not supposed to be out this long and uh, yeah it's, it was a day so i'm just gonna have um, a salad for dinner again that salad is really good and it's a lot of protein so i'm not mad about it um, I got my ground turkey. Nothing. I'm doing all this to show y'all nothing. Shit that I always eat. Because I eat the same things because it's easier. And I figured out what I should be eating finally. So I just eat stuff that I like. Y'all know my rice. We like it portion controlled already. Uh, turkey crumble so I can make my egg scramble bowls. <laughs> this is something new. Okay, so these little pancakes, right? I got these pancakes. They're the French pancakes to go because when i was at costco they had like the big pack because you know everything's in bulk and the pancakes it said for five of them it was 340 calories and i was like yo that's really good and i was like you don't need all them pancakes so when i went to Publix, they had some kind of like it and then the nutrition fact for these is one pancake is 130 calories and i was like actually y'all that's not good it's the one that's really not it's the ones from Costco had a better like macro type of thing. Like, yeah, five pancakes. My camera is focusing on everything. Five pancakes for 340, I think. I didn't believe it. That's what it was. I was like, I don't believe this. Anyway, I got them. So it would just be something to snack on, I guess, for a little snack. It ain't, you know, the best one I really think about it. Cause that pancake is little. And you're gonna want at least two. Anyway, y'all know potatoes for my egg scramble bowls. And they can be used different ways. If you season them right, you can eat them with the salmon. Um, so I got, I just, y'all know what's crazy is the reason I started buying these is because they literally just, so I don't know, the Simply Potatoes in the green bag, they only had the hash brown ones, but I like the regular ones because these are like the diced ones because they're just basically diced potatoes. That's all they are, diced potatoes. They're potatoes that have been diced for y'all. Because you know I don't have to cook my veggies. So I started buying them when I realized that. I don't think I knew that at first. I think I thought they were like for breakfast and I didn't view them as these are just potatoes that have been cut up for you. They haven't been seasoned or touched. They're potatoes that cut up for you. No, I don't want to cut nothing. So I stopped buying regular potatoes and I buy potatoes I already cut. Whatever. I got this garlic teriyaki sauce I'm really excited about for my shrimp bowl, salmon bowl, and I was I was going to make a ground turkey bowl um, this week. And then I got some peach cobbler jam because I really wanted some toast with my scramble the other day and I didn't have none. The OG egg whites are in them. Another thing that been out. I have not, this is the second time I done been to the store and haven't seen the sugar-free mini made. So I got the Simply Light for 25 calories. The hell is going on, y'all? Everything is messed up in the world. A bag of veggie slaw for a shrimp bowl or salmon bowl. I'm sorry, my camera is like, what the hell, girl? 
Oh, I threw away my sun-dried tomatoes that I had, y'all know, in the jar with the oil because they were like 100 and some calories. And we was talking about this because the oil. So I just got regular ones now that ain't got no oil on them. And they only 30 calories for 14 grams. So who not going to be counting them? I'm not going to be counting them. But yes, that's what I needed. A red onion because Mama Lorraine put me on. She did it, but I just, I was buying the diced red onions, but it's not the same. For the sandwiches, you got to have like a slice. So I have to slice that because they don't slice it. If they had sliced it for me, I would have bought a slice, but they only got the yellow onion sliced. I also got some different uh, turkey breasts. Is it turkey or chicken? Yeah, it's no, it's chicken. It's Ichabon teriyaki chicken breast, like deli sliced for sandwiches. I'm excited to try that. Some green onions for my breakfast bowls instead of uh, peppers this time. And some Parmesan cheese for my Caesar salad because I was without out yesterday. <sighs> Let me put all this up, y'all. I don't know if I'm going to straighten up or not, but if anything, I'm going to show y'all my dinner. And I think I might just phase this on over to tomorrow because don't don't let me i don't know what i'm gonna do don't let me lie i might have this just to be a two-day vlog or i might not but this day was not it just did not go how i was supposed to go oh yeah i forgot to show y'all the stuff i bought yay who i am pissed at because he doesn't fucking listen yay is so stubborn y'all he knows exactly what you're talking about but he just decide what he gonna do when he wanna do it hold on see y'all i tried to do some little edges and baby no i am not about to play with this hair I don't like it like this. I mean, it's okay. We did this earlier. Okay, we're not going to do it. I bought that little MF for another bag to put in his playpen. He doesn't deserve. Because when I got home, mind y'all, he been in the crate or the little kennel. No, the crate. For three hours because that's how long I've been gone. So when I got home and I opened the door and I'm like, go use the bathroom. This MF looked at me like I was stupid. Knowing he has to pee. On the fucking grass patch. And what did he do? Pee on my balcony. Because he, I told him when he doesn't pee, when I know he needs to pee, I just close the door on him and then do what I need to do and then come back and check. But he fucking pee on my balcony. He need his ass beat. Especially after I done spent my coin on him. It's just like a child. You will be like, all I do for you and you over here effing up. Whatever. So I got him this little flat bed. Let's talk about why. Because he tore up the bed that Sunshine bought him. Ain't had the bed two weeks. Tore it up. I bought him a slow feeder bowl because he be acting like an idiot. When I put the food in the bowl and he eat it, like he sucks it down. He doesn't even swallow it. Y'all, did I tell y'all about the bone? I don't know. I gave him a bone and he broke it in half, like so that it was two pieces. And then he swallowed them whole and threw it up because he didn't chew it. He don't be trying to chew nothing. <sighs> he irritated me. I got um, a gnaw, they say a gnaw stick. Something for him to chew on so he'll stop chewing on me. But guess what? He not. He gonna still chew on me. He don't deserve none of this. Got him a bone. Got him some doggone puppy teeth and rings. Chicken flavor. I used to buy that for Bash. He don't deserve. Then I bought some, um, some crunchy biscuits. Treats. Whatever. And then some more treats. Some duck ones. And these are like training treats. Um, but all jokes aside, even though he do that little thing where he act like he gonna do what he wanna do. Um, he, I have not cleaned up any pee or poop since I've been back from Mexico. He has not used the bathroom. Let me see, I'm saying it and watch it happen before I end this vlog, y'all. Even if it don't happen tomorrow, because I do think I'm a vlog coming tomorrow, right? Oh, yeah, because he has to go get the rest of his shots tomorrow. So, mm, because I said that, watch he do it. He ain't pooped or peed in his crate in the pen in the house nowhere. I've been letting him, like y'all seen earlier, have some more freedom. And I have not been let down, so thank God for that. And I got him some little balls because he likes to um, play fetch, I found out. But he has to go get his last round of shots tomorrow so we can really be in the streets. He sleep wasn't supposed to be outside this whole time. That's why, um, well, that's not why I had a grass patch. I had a grass patch really because he used the bathroom every two seconds, or he did. But now we've been uh, actually okay with that. Um, but he hasn't, he wasn't supposed to be outside using the bathroom, especially because I got all these dogs around in my apartment complex, but girl he likes to walk and burn energy so we was doing it but technically he could have got parvo so he gets his last shots tomorrow um so yeah what am i gonna do tomorrow nothing because i'm tired i'm probably gonna clean up anyway okay i'm gonna go i'm not gonna sit here like this i'll see y'all for dinner more than likely i will not see y'all before y'all i am so embarrassed i was outside with yay because they're having a block party outside i'm gonna show y'all and i was outside talking to people with yay and they dogs and look at me oh my god do y'all see this? I didn't even know that I was sweating like this. Oh my God. Girl, I am so 
embarrassed. Oh my god, let me show y'all. How you doing? Um, like a little block party. And me and Ye went out there and played, and they had margaritas. Probably why I'm sweating like this. We was out there for a while. Okay, y'all, as promised, this is my dinner. It's just that salmon I got from Sam's and basically a caesar salad so uh i last night i had shrimp with it and i had bread but i'm not that hungry so i'm just gonna have it like this you know very simple easy nice quick healthy protein and shake we got some veggies you know we usually don't but yeah i'm gonna call it a night first of all first of all first first things first happy motherfucking birthday to the best gemini to ever gemini ever in life Mr. Kanye West. Okay, now that that's out the way, hey y'all, what's up? <laughs> um, I'm, I hadn't just got back from the gym. I feel like I just got back from the gym. No, it is 12.50. I've been home for probably an hour. I cleaned my kitchen because it was, girl, it was not. So it, everything's clean, right? And I fixed breakfast. So let me show y'all. So this is definitely technically lunch, but whatever. So it's just a, a breakfast scramble, y'all. We got potatoes, turkey sausage crumbles, egg whites with cheese, and then the new, um, what are these? The tomato things. Sun-dried tomatoes, okay? I'm not regretting these sun-dried tomatoes because the ones that came in oil just looked better because probably because they was in oil and these don't look appetizing i probably need some ketchup on this let me give it a whirl i'll drop the potato um they're okay they're not as flavorful as the ones in oil of course mm -mm. and they're kind of tough Y'all, that makes me mad because I bought these and I don't want these. And I like the ones in oil. But, of course, the ones in oil, high calorie content. Of course, because all things that are good are high in calories because the world hates us. Anyway, I am don't know how I feel about those, but I really don't like them. So, let's talk about what we're doing in June, right? Because this was a fit vlog originally, right? Mm, I said I wasn't going to count calories in June. And then I was like, no, you need to because you half ass kind of calories the whole cut. Well, no, I did the weekends. We already know. We already know the story, how the weekends go. But I said, forget it. You know, June was my birthday. Mom's going to chill. I counted calories yesterday. I was good. I counted calories Monday, too, because today's Wednesday. So the two days out the week, because, you know, my birthday was last week. Mm -hmm, right. Today, I didn't count this. But as y'all can see, it's typically the same thing I eat. But I don't know the measurements. It looks like it's not as much as I would usually eat, especially the egg whites. Way more egg whites than that usually. I didn't track anything, measure, nothing. I really want to say that I don't want to count calories only because I feel like it's going to be the same shit it always is. And even more so. Because I know I'm going to my mom's for a couple of days. Um, Rock's having like a bar stock type thing. I had some people that wanted to take me out to eat for my birthday still. I'm supposed to go to Chicago this month, but that's not solidified. We will have to talk about that very personally in another vlog. This ain't the one. But it's basically like you setting yourself up to, for it just to be the same shit that it always is pretty much. And even much so because it's my birthday month. Um, so it's like, why would we do that? Why would we just do that? I don't know though, because I'm like, if I don't count calories, I know I'm not going to just balls to the wall, like eat crazy. But I'm also not going to restrict and I also don't want to count because I want to get out the house more and explore more. And if I'm being honest, even though I was acting a fuck up on the weekends anyway, for the most part, I don't be wanting to go like to little coffee shops and vlog with y'all because I'm going to get the coffee. I don't know. I don't drink black coffee. So what they put in the coffee, the sugar, the calories, I don't know. I want to try the freaking salmon bagel. So like today, because y'all know I didn't try it in Mexico if you watched my birthday vlog, I was going to go do the salmon bagel thing with y'all and like do some work but then that didn't happen but anyway stuff like that like i want to get out and try stuff and vlog it because those are the best vlogs nobody don't want to see the same shit all the time i don't want to see the same shit all the time i don't want to do the same shit all the time that's why i don't be liking the vlog because it'd be like what you doing going to the gym going to the stove in the house right but then it's like it just causes extra pressure i don't know so i'm still in between but i don't think i am gonna count this month we already two weeks in the damn month basically I just don't see it, but I just need to 
be cautious and it but it like pushes me back because it's like i wanted to um do a meal plan for myself like i don't like to necessarily uh meal prep but if i had my meals planned out because a lot of the problems is also too y'all you know how they say if you don't plan if you don't prepare you fail or something like that if you don't plan you fail yeah, I don't be planning my meals and then I try to wing it last minute or I'll just be like, forget it, I'm going to have kava, which kava's not bad. But if I'm going to strategically actually try to cut and be more consistent than I was previously and forget that because baby girl still lost weight while I was cutting. And I really feel like that's just because I'm moving more like outside the gym. I walk a lot, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I wanted to do a meal plan, which I still can because I can still uh, plan my meals because I want to do a recomp guide like more in debt and like with workouts because the first recomp um, thing that I did or my ebook, it was just basically like telling you about it. But I want to do like a recomp workout type things and I do not want to give meal plans because technically that's out of range if a um a personal trainer if, if they're only certified a personal trainer they're not supposed to be giving you meal plans that ain't no dietitian but that's neither here nor there too y'all gonna do what y'all want to do with y'all money but in the recon guy i did want to show you guys like what i eat and i would never suggest calories to you because baby i don't know what you i don't know nothing about your body what it need what it do so i would just be like okay well this is the kind of meals that i'm eating if you want to eat this too um but measure out your own portions. I wouldn't even give portions. Like, I wouldn't say, oh, a cup of ground beef, uh, half a cup of rice. No, I'll just be like, this is a ground beef and rice bowl type thing. And I also want to do, like, a recipe book. But this is me just speaking out loud. Anyway, um, being a Gemini, nothing can ever be solidified or decided upon. So that's my problem. But I thought I would voice it aloud so that you guys could leave comments in the comment box like you do. But I'm going to eat my breakfast and catch up with you guys. Jay has a vet appointment at 6 that's pretty much it. I wanted to clean some more because my house just get it back in order and kind of just chill today. Like, I'm tired. I went to the gym and I just did straight cardio today. It was a cardio day. Tired, but I did get a full night of sleep last night. So, but yeah, I'm also going to show you guys what I'm eating today at least. So, I have my breakfast bowl for lunch. I might do a Caesar again because I have another piece of that salmon out. That salmon was okay. It's not bourbon salmon from Publix. It's not, but it's okay. But anyway, I have to eat it now. But I'm, I'm the type of girl that I'm going to pay for what I want. I know that bourbon salmon is high, but if I need five pieces for the week, I need five pieces. Because that salmon was all right, but I'm not excited about it. I don't know what I'm going to do. This is why I need a meal plan. Because I don't know what I'm going to do. Why don't I know? I actually only bought so much stuff, so I only can like have a sandwich, pretty much. Because that's what I bought, like sandwich stuff. Um, I do want to try that chicken breast, too. But I do have that salmon I put in the fridge. And I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. Look, y'all. I really defined my curls today. Like, I put gel in them. Yesterday, I just let them do their thing and they got frizzy. Anyway, I'm trying with this head. I still like it flat, like, better. Especially because I don't like the sides. Anyway, we're not here for that. What I have to tell y'all is I have to take back my message about the salmon and come back and tell y'all about it. Y'all, I overcooked that salmon yesterday. This here is good it's still not as good as the bourbon but i would definitely repurchase that black and salmon it looks good on it it's already seasoned just why so y'all know i'm lazy that's just like the bourbon salmon already seasoned i throw it in the air fryer boom this is so freaking good it was overcooked yesterday that was my bad so for my caesar salad i put my salad in the spinner now this is so funny y'all i've had this spinner bowl for years i mean I had this, I think, when I lived in McDonough. I don't know if y'all remember the days. And I never really used it before as a spinner bowl. I always just used the strainer part or, like, the bowl, the plastic bowl itself. So I was like, stop being lazy and spin the salad. And I'm so glad I did because even by looking right here, y'all can see how it distributes the dressing. I mean, oh, my God. Maybe I didn't put enough dressing on it because it looks like it's all on the side. Hold on. <laughs> I don't like to use a lot of dressing because I'm really not. First of all, dressing is a lot of calories and um i'm lazy so i rather just put the lettuce we keep talking about i'm lazy i like to just put the lettuce in the bowl and just like stir it myself but whatever i use the spinner bowl and oh hold on, i'm supposed to be holding it right here i am bullshitting but when you do that it's spinning the dressing all over the the salad or the lettuce and y'all like girl we know what the spinner bowl do you the one who don't know because you didn't use it but now, I feel like I had to use way too much. I can't get it off. 
Y'all, this is why I don't do stuff like this. Okay. I feel like I use way too much dressing. And I just, oh my God, y'all threw the lettuce all on the damn stove. Okay, yeah, see, it be too much. Anyway, I feel like all of the freaking dressing is on the side of the bowl. Look. No, ma'am. See? Okay, maybe I wasn't tripping for not using the spinner. Because this lettuce is still slick dry, and I used more dressing than I would have any given time. Look at the salad. Look at the bowl. Uh-uh. See? I mean, it's not too bad, but it's bad. Okay, y'all, hold on. Let me fix this. Okay, when I tell y'all this salad is so doggone good, I'm going to go to the store and get some more lettuce today. So I added some of the cilantro lime shrimp from Costco. It is definitely worth the $16. I don't care what you say. I just don't care. It's already ready. <laughs> it's seasoned. It's good. Look at this salad. Look at this salad. Oh, my God. So, no, I didn't count anything. I told y'all. We'll see how long I can do this because I feel paranoid about it a little bit because... I don't know. I feel like I should be counting, but whatever. This is my lunch. Y'all, yay is 17.4 pounds. The last time we was here, which is exactly, was it three weeks or four weeks? I think four weeks. You was not even 15 pounds. You was close. You was like 14.6. And the first time we came, which would now be like two months ago, was you 10 pounds? I don't even know. He gains weight profusely. Look at him. How are you four months? and 17, almost 18 pounds. Look at you, yay. You want a pup cup? You, we never got a pup cup. You know what, oh, forget you too, he got attitude. I don't know what you mad at me for, you know what this place is. Look y'all, I can't believe he not looking at me, yay. You got attitude, <laughs> apparently. Y'all, I went to Starbucks and got a matcha, but not an ice matcha, a matcha frappuccino, and it is life changing. It's life changing for real. Hold on. Mm. I didn't think the matcha could get better, but it got better. It got better. Mm -mm. I would have got a venti. But because it's a frappuccino, I know it already has like that base um, of full of who knows what. So I didn't get um, venti, but it is so good. It's better than iced. Anyway, I also got yay a pup cup for the first time. So I'm going to try to prop y'all up because I also want to catch this on my phone and see how he acts. Because he finished his vaccinations. He's fully vaxxed. Dog park, we in that thing. We're going. We're going. Can y'all see him? He like, girl, okay. Okay, y'all, he looking at me like, if she don't get her ass, look, yay. You see that? We got to show the world that we got a pup cup. Okay, if I drop my freaking frappuccino, I'm going to be mad. So, let's see how it goes. Oh, oh, I know. I know. Oh my God, is it a pup cup? Is it a pup cup? How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? He's a baby. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Y'all, oh my God, look at this baby. You like that? It's just with cream, we can get some at the crib. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, y'all, nothing miraculous to see here. It's just some of that shrimp I had earlier with some rice. And then I added this garlic um, teriyaki sauce from Stonewall Kitchen. Pretty good. Um, I'm not even really hungry, but I want to make sure that I'm eating enough. And since I'm not counting calories, I'm like, I don't know. I know I had that frappuccino, and it probably was about five to 600 calories. Boo. But, you know, it wasn't no protein in it, so... I am really curious to see like how this month is gonna go. I'm still gonna weigh myself like damn near every day like I've been doing just to make sure I ain't gaining weight. I doubt that I will gain weight. Honestly, like I mentioned this before, it's kind of hard for me to gain weight unintentionally because um, I'm not trying to gain weight. So I'm not eating like a considerable amount on purpose, one. And I'm not eating stuff that would typically, you know, be easier for you to gain weight like fast food and stuff like a lot. And because I am so active, I work out every day. I average about eight to 10K steps a day, sometimes over. Um, yeah, it's like I really wouldn't gain weight 
if I ain't trying to. Because again, hold on, let's make it clear. If I want to gain weight, y'all know ain't got no problem because I'm going to eat. Now I know what to eat and I'm going to sit my ass down. I also, not only do I get those mini steps, but I do cardio every time I'm at the gym. And then like today was Wednesday, it's totally a cardio day. So again, it's going to be harder for me to unintentionally gain weight. But I'm sticking with myself, see what's going on. If I lose some weight, great. But yeah, I don't think I'm doing calories this month. <sighs> I think I'm just gonna give myself a mental break. And like, I went to Chipotle, and I, no, what Chipotle, I'm sorry. I went to Starbucks, and like I got my Frappuccino, my matcha, and I wasn't worried about it. Like, I miss stuff like that. Like, oh, let me get a drink, you know, cause you don't wanna drink your calories, okay? That's not what you do during a cut. But since I'm like chilling, it felt good just to stop and get a matcha. And when I say don't drink your calories, like I, of course I get Starbucks, like I was getting the iced matchas and stuff, but I was counting those and tracking those. So I stayed away from frappuccinos completely. That's why I didn't have the, uh, the frappuccino matcha, but it was so good. So um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna chill um, and pick back up. <laughs> in july also i feel a little hypocritical because i started out like exercising with like you know i'm just gonna exercise because i like it and i don't want to become fat phobic like i'm not fat phobic but pursuing this leanness to the point now if you want to lose weight it's nothing wrong with that i hate when people get mad at people so it'll be bigger people say they exercising kind of like me and they're promoting like uh body positivity fitness and then they decide to lose weight and people get mad at them if you want to lose weight that's fine but when it comes to like i'm over here like y'all i really don't want to count my calories this month or like actively try to cut i just want to chill and i'm over here in the mindset like no i need i can't chill that's when that becomes a problem because why you can't like when was we ever in a rush to do this we've been chilling obviously so like what's the rush now i don't want to be that girl like that i'm gonna sacrifice having a good time chilling like just wanting to enjoy and try new things i don't want to do that because me chasing leanness is more important because it's not it never is to me now if you're a bodybuilder you know that's your life or whatever that's not my life i'm a regular person i'm not mad at how i look so it's like what's the rush what's wrong it'll always be there you can lose weight whenever you want and you cannot whenever you want and we have different phases of life right now my phase is i want to focus more on doing things Sorry, I had the camera tilted. Doing things, socializing, getting out the house. So, I'm not saying you can't lose weight and do all those things, but me prioritizing counting calories in order to do so is not working at the present time. Again, we'll try next month. If it ain't right next month, oh fucking well. We still gonna go to the gym because we like it and we're gonna live our life. We're not gonna be eating crazy as y'all seen how I ate today. Typical shit that I would have been eating. I'm just not counting anything. I'm not tracking anything. We just... I just want to make that clear. Don't be trying to be like, you know, we can't. I don't want, I want everybody to be at peace. And whatever your fitness goals, I don't want it to be that serious. So again, where you like, oh, fuck it, I got to do it. I need to chill. I do need to chill. And I'm really talking to myself, and I know I be going on and on. But why I'm really pressing the point that I need to chill is that it took me. Y'all, the whole vlog, I was going back and forth. Where am I, am I going to do this? And this is just on the vlog, which means in real life, I was, like, consistently back and forth trying to decide. Like, it was a fucking big-ass, like, decision, and it's really not. So, yeah, I'm going to chill and just, like, keep everything at moderation. But y'all know what I really missed? <laughs> So, that wasn't in this vlog, but on Monday, whatever. When Sunshine made that food and I had some Stella Rose, y'all, I miss fucking wine. I didn't know I was a wino, but I like sweet wine. I miss having wine and see, I don't want to, because I really <laughs> want to have a bottle of wine every night if I'm being honest and see, no, we, we don't do that in moderation. But I did miss like having wine at the end of the night. So, like, I used to engage in recreational activities every night, and I had to let that go. I still do it occasionally, but not every night, because I would eat like crazy. Then I learned that I had to engage in the recreational activity first, and then I'll eat shit after. But the wine itself, a glass is 100 calories, and I want the whole bottle. So, what is that, about four or five? <laughs> oh, my God, it tastes so good. It's like the best juice you ever had. But anyway, I'll have some wine here and there. Not every night, but 
you know when I get back to cutting I have to let that go and you don't have to let it go but you gotta be real with yourself I can't practice moderation with wine if the bottle is open I'm drinking the fucking bottle the whole bottle so because of that we don't do it at all we don't buy the bottle anyway thanks for kicking it with me check out other videos from me here on the screen and I'll see you guys in my next one